Can you think back to a time when you felt the most joyful? If so, you can probably recall feeling like all your desires were being met and that everything just seemed to fall into place. But did you ever consider how you arrived at that feeling? If you had, this is what you might have discovered. You might have discovered that you had a desire, you then contemplated on it and sought it out. Then the time came when you got to experience it. Now when you were contemplating on it, you probably saw in your mind how these things could come true and also the many ways in which it couldn't. During the moments in which you were making some sort of physical effort to bring your desire about, you probably dealt with a little uncertainty and probably a little resistance. But even though you had negative thoughts and experienced some resistance, you persisted. And then with not knowing exactly how or when your desire would become reality, as if spontaneously, there you were experiencing the joy of having your desire met. Now you may be wondering, what does knowing your true self have to do with having a desire or dream come true? Well, it has everything to do with it. In each of us lies our true self. Many of us have no idea who this true self is. This is true because, honestly, how many people wake up asking themselves who their true self is? Or ask this before they go to bed at night? Did they live out their true self that day? However, I believe that if we did, we would ultimately have a more defined understanding of who that true self is. I believe the true self is the origin of all dreams and desires. Yes, even the superficial desires. Because I believe even the superficial desires stem from a greater desire that lies within the true self. Your true self is something that you can call your ground state. Like the person you are before you identify as a race, ethnicity, gender, friend, co-worker, etc. It's who you would be if all those things were removed. As you go through this life, this ground state seeks to take the forefront of all other personalities, identities, and activities in your life. When you're not aware of your true self or your ground state, you start to experience a lot of discomfort and struggle within your life, leading to feelings of unhappiness, depression, and anxiety. A quick and very important side note. It is not entirely possible to know the entire nature of your true self and ground state because these things do expand beyond what your conscious mind can comprehend. Not because no one's smart enough, but because we have too much mental conditioning from the life we are experiencing that it gets too easy to get confused and overwhelmed trying to comprehend it. When you are not aligned with your true self, life can feel like a constant uphill battle with a ton of weight strapped to your back. However, when you are aligned with your true self, things flow easily. Everything you desire in life seems to seek companionship with you. And I don't mean in kind of a law of attraction kind of way, wherein whatever you meditated on starts to come your way, but more so in the way of you become water flowing through a path that you had set for yourself before you were born. This life is the path and you are supposed to always flow easily through it, not rushing through it, nor becoming a pond. Your true self knows this and is joyful about flowing down the path effortlessly and easily. However, while flowing through life's path, 
we routinely find ourselves becoming stagnant pawns or trying to rush through the path. When you discover your true self, you don't have the fear of not making it through the path, so you don't rush or have anxiety about the path. You don't become fearful about where the path is going and want to stay where you are, leading to depression. When you discover your true self, you're optimistic about the path, even with all its uncertainties. Now let's discover how, excuse me, let's discuss how to discover your true self, your unique ground state, so that you may experience more joy in your life. Most importantly, you must spend time both alone and with others. Both of these factors are important, but for the sake of time, I will just discuss the necessity of spending time alone. Spend more time in prayer or meditation. And if you are like most of us and struggle with sitting in silence, you can start getting to know your true self by spending time studying or reading things that are of interest to you. And if that's not your cup of tea, Spend more time doing activities that are of interest to you. However, I do strongly suggest making an attempt to spend a few few moments in silent prayer or meditation. Because in silence, guess what you have? Your thoughts. Your thoughts are the key to understanding yourself and ultimately why you do the things you do and believe the things you do. Time and silence provides a mirror to see what your conditioning is. For this, I will refer you to watch my video on Unhappy Here's Why. That's the title. For more information on how your conditioning affects your ability to be happy. By understanding your conditioning, you are better able to understand who you are not. Seek out your true self, and once you find it, rest in it. Allow that self to be present in everything you do. Do not worry about it causing you pain or discomfort, because its sole purpose is to live out this life perfectly. Know that your true self, even with pain and discomfort, is leading you to experiencing more joy because it knows what it needs to do to feel fulfilled and complete. Oh man, I apologize this video is much longer than I intended, but here's something very important to consider in trying to grasp this concept. Have you ever had a time when you purchased something or went to an event and once you had gotten it or were there, you had this sinking feeling of dissatisfaction well that's kind of a peek into your true self your true self knew from the beginning that that was going to be a passing thing and knows what you truly desire so i say that to say this trust yourself don't go for things that are safe the norm or go for whatever one else is doing spend time with yourself Begin to know yourself. Begin to know that restful, quiet place within yourself. That self, your true self, knows what it is you truly desire and knows how to get it. Discover your true self. Trust your true self and allow it to provide you with more joy and satisfaction in everyday life. Well, that's all the time I have for today, but until next time, let's agree to live happy one moment at a time. Now there was a lot of concepts and ideas in this video that may be a little difficult to grasp initially. I know it was for me when I first started this journey, but if you're interested in learning more about these concepts, 
please check out some of my other videos and other links I have provided in the description.